Hi, my name is Ariana and I'm going to show you how to use the Libraries tool in App Lab. Once you've written a library like the one I have here, click on the Share button at the top left. Then click on Show Advanced Options and then toggle over to Share as Library. Click the Share as Library button at the bottom of the pop-up. Next, erase the name under Library Name and give your library a meaningful name. I'll name mine List Operations, one word. You'll also need to give your library a description. I'll write Functions to Manipulate Lists. Under Functions, you can select all or just select certain functions. I'm going to select them all. You'll notice my Multiply By function doesn't have a comment, so I can't add it. So make sure you give all of your functions comments first. Now I'll click Publish. You can copy this ID to share with anyone else or share with specific people, but I'm also going to show you how to view any libraries from your class. Now that we've published, let's check out how to access someone else's library and import it into your program. To pull someone else's library, click on the gray gear next to the word Toolbox, and then click on Manage Libraries. You should see any libraries you've created as well as others from your class under Import Library from My Class. To add a library to your program, simply click on the plus button. Now, when I go to the Functions tab, I can see my library down here. There's just those two functions you saw, and when you hover over them, you can see how the comments show up. That's why my function without comments didn't make it. If you decide you don't want to use that library in your project anymore, click on the gray gear again, and then Manage Libraries. Find your library, and then remove it by clicking on the trash can. If you decide you also don't want to have other people using your library, you can go back to where you created your library and unpublish it. I'll click on the Share button, then Show Advanced Options, toggle over to Share Library, and click the Share Library button. Finally, I'll scroll down in the pop-up box and click Unpublish, which will make it so that it's not shared with anyone anymore.